guys, I'm Tamar from Tamar's Jewelry Box, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beaded lizard. Now, before I start, can you guys please comment below telling me what you guys want to see next, because I really need ideas. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing you will need are some pony beads, and I line mine up already to the lizard shape to see if I have enough. And the next thing you will need is any really thick, like, string. Like, I'm using this kind, but you can use whatever kind you have. And I'm. you're also going to need um, cutting pliers and a lighter. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is cut your string. And then what I'm doing here is taking my lighter and burning the edge so that it doesn't, like, it's not hard to get the beads onto the string. And... When I say cut a long string, I really mean it. Like, uh, you don't want to run out of string in the middle. So, the first thing you're going to do is put on one bead and cross through it. Make sure it's centered in the middle. Next, you're going to pick up two beads on one side still and cross through those two beads. Just like this. Next, we will be picking up three beads. Now, two of these are the eye, so I'm using a green for the eye, and then a middle bead, and then another eye. Cross through those three beads and pull them down, just like I'm doing here. And then, um, this is what you should have. Then, you're going to pick up two beads, and you're going to cross through those also, just like this. And now it's time to do the hands. So you're going to pick up five beads on like one side. And you're going to skip the three last beads and go down through the two first beads that you put on. Just like I'm doing here. And pull and then you'll see that you have a hand. It's really, really cool. And it's so easy. That's why I love this. So just like that and do the same thing for the other hand on the other string. So I did my two hands and now pick up two beads and cross through them. So it should pop right into place there. Just like this. Next you will be picking up three beads and crossing through them. And then you're going to pick up four beads and cross through them. Just like I'm doing here. After you pick up the four beads and cross through them, so you're going to pick up five beads and cross through them, then four beads, then three beads, then two beads, and then we're going to do the feet. So just do that. So here I did the five, four, three, two, and I did one of the feet, and it's the same as doing the hand, so I'll show you guys how I do it. Um, and one problem that you guys will run into is that when you go down through your two beads like this your hand is going to end up or your foot is going to end up like somewhere random so what you're going to do is pull the string that is connected to the, the beads pull and it's going to go right into place like when you make this you'll know what I'm talking about but it happens to me a lot so just note that then you're going to pick up two beads and cross through them just like that. Now we're going to be doing the tail. The tail is just basically picking one bead up, crossing through it, and just repeating that step for the whole entire tail. And the longer the tail, the better, I think, but you can do as long as you want. Now I'm tying my strings, just doing a few knots. And yeah, if you want, you can make a bow. I just decided to make a bow because, I don't know, just, like, I didn't feel like cutting off the string. But you could do whatever you want. You could cut the string there. And there you have it. Here is your lizard. I think it's such a cute idea. I learned how to make this in camp, so I figured that I'll share it with you guys. So leave me a comment below letting me know if you like this and what you want to see next. Give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.